Hey, what's up guys, BossX7 here, and today I have another cool tutorial for you guys in No Limits 2. Um, today I'll be showing you guys how to make B&M sit-down loop supports, so let's get started here. So, I already pre-made one right here, um, so you guys can see what we're going to be making today. Alright, so let's get started here. So, this one you don't need um, another coaster file, you can use your same one. And so just go ahead and unfreeze it, and you can see how I did this one already. So, for uh, go to front view and go to supports, add free node. And I already did this one, but when you do yours, uh, make sure they're lined up uh, perfectly going across. All right, so add one node up here and seven down here. All right, now do these both at the same time on both sides and go ahead and line them up on the same lines. Okay, now once you get these lined up, make sure they're lined up across this way. This needs to go down one more. All right, and let's move them in um, about 0.5 spaces apart. Just like that. All right, and this one you don't need to worry about just yet, so we'll do that in a minute. All right, so go back to perspective and locate these nodes and line them up on the wireframe um, spine here, right in the middle. So. Grab this and line it up, turn snap off, and make sure it's perfectly lined up on the spine. There we go. We got our front view. Make sure it's still in the line, all right? Let's move this back a little bit. Okay. Go to perspective and grab this node up here and go ahead and line them up, line it up on the spine too, right in the middle. All right, now once you've done that, Go to add beam, support panel, and pick custom color, and go to your track spine color, and go to custom box beam, and let's make the make it vertical beam, make profile width, make it 0.5, and profile height 1.6, and 0 and 0, and go ahead and add uh, all seven of these nodes to this beam right here. All right, now once you've done that, freeze the coaster, test it out. Okay, now we should have this. Now you see how this is off a little bit and this is not quite lined up. This is sticking out on the top. So this all depends on this top node up here. So just keep adjusting this node right here and that, that should all be fixed. All right, now once you get this top one lined up the way you want, just adjust this bottom one just a little bit. So this needs to be moved over just a tiny bit here. So it lines up with the spine. There we go. Let's test that out. All right, a little bit less. All right, now once you get it all lined up, go ahead and freeze it. Make sure it is uh, tested out and everything. All right, now you see how it has choppy ends on, on down here on the bottom. So unfreeze it again, go to supports, add beam, support panel, make sure you have horizontal beam, and make sure this is 1.6 and 0.5, just like that. And make sure at the start, you make it 0.2. And start from this end here and drag to this end. And let's freeze it. All right. Now you see this adds a flat base to it. Really nice. Okay. Now let's add the support. So go ahead and unfreeze again, go to supports and add three free nodes right underneath here. So let's go one, two, and three, just like that. All right, and we're gonna line this middle one up with this third one here. So go ahead and go to front view and pick the middle one. I think that's the middle one, I can't tell. Yep, all right, grab the middle one and line it up with this third one. So let's turn snap on and there we go. And go ahead and line these up next to it. All right, now once you get done with this, go to add beam support panel and go to custom box beam still, go to make it a vertical beam and make the profile width two and make this uh, 1.6 and make at the start zero again and close and grab it from this middle one to right here. You go ahead and freeze that. All right, now you can see that's not lined up, so let's line it up. All 
All right, now once you're done with that, go to add beam support panel and go to pipe 24 inches and close that out and drag it from this beam all the way across. There we go. And so make sure these are all lined up front view. Let's go ahead and freeze it again. Make sure it's, make sure it's even on both sides. All right, that looks good. Okay, now we can actually make these longer. So grab them again and let's go ahead and move them across a few times. There we go. Okay, now once you've done that, go to sports, go to add beam node and add two in the middle. And then go to top view, add footer, and add two footers somewhere around here. So let's do one right here and one right about here. Move those out. Okay, now with the same 24 inch pipe, um, go to add beam and add it from the footer up to this beam node here. Same with right here. And add two flanges right around here. And let's freeze it. Alright, now you can see that we can adjust these a little bit, so let's go ahead and make this, this side a little bit smaller here. Alright, now for the final step is to angle the supports parallel with this, uh, the loop support here. So, go to top or front view, and unfreeze, and highlight the, the footers, and let's move them out. Just like that, and let's freeze it. All right, hey, what's up guys? I'm back in play mode and here's the final product of the B&M sit down loop supports. I think they came out really nice. They're really flush with the track and with the supports. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for tutorials, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Same thing with my sports junior pack. It will be coming out pretty soon here. And uh, I had some people complain on my last tutorial about the B&M invert. Uh, loop supports and about how they didn't connect properly to the track and whatnot, but um, that was just me trying to keep it simple for more people um, And so they can do the tutorial easier and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like for more